Hello, and thanks for joining us on Green and Gold Gridiron. I am your host, Brian Groff, as always, alongside PackerReport.com writer Keith Rordink. Great to be here, Brian. I think there's something really special going on with this Green Bay Packer team. 3-0, got to feel good about everything we're seeing out there. Jenny Ritchie joins us in just a bit. We will also introduce you to our special guest who is in studio visiting with us. And, and the credentials that Marv Fleming has are off the charts. So we're going to introduce you to him sure. in just a little bit. But the Packers winning that game 38-28. to Couple key points. Aaron Rodgers, boy, does he look good. Five touchdown passes. And he really has a knack, we've seen it throughout the year, of catching 12 men on the field and causing defensive players to jump off sides. You know, it, it might as well be an official part of their game plan. Aaron Rodgers is so smart. He's so cerebral. We can be done talking about Peyton Manning as the leader there. He sees 12 guys on the field. He's going to snap that ball. He sees a guy off sides. He's going to snap that ball. And his receivers know enough to run that route deep. And it's not just when he gets a free play, he's cashing in on it. Your story this week is on the defense, getting seven sacks from six different seven players. Seven sacks, six different players. So it really started up front. Mike Daniels had just a monster game. You know, he's up on that defensive line. Raji's next to him. He got a couple holding calls. But mm -hmm. Daniels is just, just such an, an intense leader of that defense. He gets a sack and a half. You've got Nick Perry getting a sack. Clay Matthews getting two sacks, one from the inside, one from the outside. They had Alex Smith on the run all night. But it started with making him one-dimensional by shutting down Jamal Charles, the third quality running back that they've been able to bottle up this season. Joe Thomas got in there as well, so they just keep continuing to plug mm -hmm. holes. Uh, the Packers are 3-0 for the first time since 2011, beat Kansas City for the first time at Lambeau Field. But we're gonna, we have a, kind of a theme with the Kansas City Chiefs we as we bring in Jenny Ritchie and we'll talk about our Titletown topics. Jenny. Well, we're going to get pretty nostalgic. We're going to talk about Super Bowl One, you know, the game that started it all. We're going to talk about Aaron Rodgers. We're going to do some comparisons between him, Bart Starr, Brett Favre, you know, the trio that just keeps on winning, basically. And then we're going to talk a little bit about what it takes to make a championship team. And Marv Fleming knows all about that. He will all be our that. guest in studio coming up after this break. Brought to you in part by Hermaning Financial Group. Hermaning Financial Group strives to help you and your family reach your financial goals while demonstrating their core values of integrity, independence, and innovation. With offices in Wausau, Stevens Point, Manitowoc, and Wisconsin Rapids, proudly supporting the Boys and Girls Club. It's 3 p.m. For 50 million kids across America, school's out, and for a third of these kids, they're out on their own, out with nowhere to go and nothing to do. It's time to support the Boys and Girls Club. Great futures start here. Do you like to walk? Do you want to live longer? You will love square dancing. Friends you meet, you meet for life. Marvelous people. I guess I meet people. I love it. Love it. I love square dancing. The fun, the family. Great variety of music. The camaraderie. Was you young? It's fun. Try it, you like it. Oh, Call 715-544-7969. Visit wisconsinsquaredancing.com for more information. First lesson free, singles and couples welcome. Looking for a high-impact way for your business to stand out from the rest? Flipside Graphics specializes in vehicle wraps, vinyl graphics, and much more. Cutting-edge graphics with professional results is what we stand for. Have a large fleet that needs to be flipped or shirts to be embroidered? Our design team will handle every aspect of the project from start to finish. We design it, we wrap it, we flip it. Call Flipside Graphics today and stand out from the competition. Welcome back to Green and Gold Gridiron. I'm Brian Graff alongside Keith Rordink, and it is time now for us to introduce our special guest for this week. He played and won first two Super Bowls under the legendary head coach Vince Lombardi. He played in three more Super Bowls, winning two more with the Miami Dolphins. It is our pleasure to introduce this week's special guest, Marv Fleming. Marv, thanks so much for dropping by the studio. Well, thank you for having me. You're definitely welcome. It's, it's a fun time to visit with you, watching the Packers and the Chiefs and all the nostalgia of Super Bowl I. And uh, you brought along a, a little memento of the fact that you played in that first Super Bowl. Yes, yeah, so we had a, um, a, a team party the other night, and the, the team was so gracious to, to show the, their appreciation you know, for what we've done for not only for football, but for the... Um, for their uh, for the city for the for the state, and we're you know as a family of all the players that I play with, we were really um, appreciated. Mm -hmm. Marv, there was so much on TV leading up to the 
this year's game with the Packers and the Chiefs, 50 years since the Super Bowl. What do, what do you still think about all these years later, reflecting back on, on that very first Super Bowl? Okay, it can't, um, it was nothing compared to, you know, the time. Mm -hmm. Because um, at the time, you didn't know if, um, we didn't know as a team if Kansas City was that good because they were playing against other teams, their, their caliber. Mm -hmm. And so we, we were really nervous. I mean, uh, but uh, the one thing is Lombardi, he stressed, we won't lose this game because it meant a lot, you know. Now, you were just 20 years old when, when you came to the Packers. Yep. What, what was that like coming from, coming from Utah, this, this Mormon university, mm -hmm. you come to, you know, small town Green Bay and you've, you've got the, this, this fiery coach. What, what was that relationship like? And, and, and I guess, how did it evolve? What did you learn from well, him? Well, I, I came here, I was um, uh, uh, a teenager, mm -hmm. you know, and I came here and everybody wants to be a, be a man. You know, I said, so what do you mean, be a man? You want me to get a mortgage, kids, and a car, you know? <laughs> I mean, what do you mean? Marvin, come on. But after I scored my first touchdown, I, I became a man, I think. <laughs> but um, um, coming here and, and being a part of a tradition and learning how. Lombardi knew I was young. He stayed on me, and I'm glad he did. He called me, and he says, Marvin, you're a good football player, and you have great potential. He says, I'm going to be on your butt. Can you take it? And I said, yes, sir. Can you take it? And I said, yes, sir. And from then, he was on my butt. But guess what? Marv became a good football player. Because, you know, some people have to have, you know, certain. And, and he was a, a coach that he knew how to coach certain people. And another thing I wanted to say. His locker, he would come out of my locker, come out of his locker, and he had to pass my locker. My locker was the first, first, uh, first player he would uh, he'd pass. And he would pat me on my shoulder and says, Marvin! And I look around and I say, he likes me. <laughs> <laughs> he likes me. We talk about the first Super Bowl, but you win the second Super Bowl. You also moved on to the Dolphins and played in three more, won two mm -hmm. more under Don Shula. I mean, when you talk about the early days and transforming the modern day NFL, it's Vince Lombardi, it goes into Don Shula, and mm -hmm. you were there in both of those organizations. I was one, one blessed football player. I mean, to, to go from, you know, everybody, people say, um, why, why'd you leave Green Bay? I said, well, I couldn't swim. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped ship. Anyway, um, so I'm, I was so fortunate to go to uh, another, you know, another um, organization. And one thing I want to say is, um, once you get outside the confines of the Packer, you know, there's other nations that they think they're just as, you know, they're uh, brainwashed here too. You know, <laughs> like in, 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 um, in Boston, they're brainwashed. Mm -hmm. You know, Chicago, brainwashed. And so I got down to Miami and it was, um, it, it was a whole different feel, but I'm glad I had the, uh, the training how to be a good football player, how to be a businessman, how to be a person at, at Green Bay. Now. The, that Dolphins team, 1972, the only undefeated team in NFL history. I mm -hmm. mean, to, to go from, you, you won a championship before the first two Super Bowls. Right. Mm -hmm. One Super Bowl, one and two. You're, you win two more with Miami. But, but how special is that to, to be part of something that, you know, first Super Bowl aside, something, something else in NFL history that's never been repeated? Um, being first, I like being first. Yeah. Um, even with the, the Dolphins, we had the perfect season the whole year, and, and just a couple of years back, um, they looked like the Patriots were going to mm -hmm. take it, and they got beat. Well, I came to the realization, I said, well, we were the first. Mm -hmm. And being the first is what you want to be. But, but each year, these ball players they go to camp, you know, whatever plateau they hit the, the year, the year, at, um, the year uh, before, they have to go to another platform to get better mm -hmm. because everybody's going to try and knock you off. You have to get better. And I was in a situation that where in all my years I had to get better and better and better and better because we're, we were, our teams were facing teams that wanted, just love to knock us off. 
because of the success you had and the people you learned from, you really took a lot and became successful. A lot of your teammates became successful. And I think uh, when you look at some of you and your players, uh, some mm -hmm. of your teammates and what they've done to give back, it's amazing too, because of the way people look up to you and they respect you. Tell us about some of the charities you currently work with. Well, my favorite charity is um, for uh, probably, um, I don't know, probably 10 years, I would not give free autographs. I wouldn't. Why? Because I said, Marvin, you can take advantage of this. You can use this. So what I did was I said, I'll give an autograph if you, if you donate $5 to my children's hospital. And they said, oh, I can do that. And they end up, oh, no, 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 I just wanted $5. They give me $20, you know. No, no, to keep it, you know. And I know if you go to my website, you see me with, um, I say if there's enough money um, to have these kids who were born conjoined, I have pictures with holding me, help me holding before and after. And this is one of the greatest things uh, I've, uh, you know, I've helped somebody have a better life. And they were from Zimbabwe, yes. is that uh -huh. correct? From and, Africa. And that uh -huh. was with the Sick Kids, the sick kids Yes, in, in, in Toronto. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it's, um, um, I want to say one, oh, another thing about medical too, but um, I'm, I'm really happy because I have so much, so much resources. I have so much resources that I can't use them all myself and I give them to other people so other people can use them. That's where I am in my life. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, we saw you looking over toward Jenny Ritchie. Oh, We're I want to bring her yes. in here for I, our Title Town topics. So she's going to join the conversation now, yeah. and she's going to kick off our Title Town topics. So what do you have, Jenny? Yeah, so I know we've touched a lot, you know, on Super Bowl One, the nostalgia mm -hmm. behind it. You know, during this past broadcast, they had a lot of that nostalgia going. Mm -hmm. So what would is there a standalone moment from that first Super Bowl that you will just never forget? Was there one moment that just defined it all? Well, um, yes, I, I was going home. I live in Los Angeles, not LA, Los Angeles. And I was going home, my family, I was going to play against Mike Garrett. Mike Garrett is the kid I went to junior high school with. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and yes, yeah, at grammar school and junior high school, I was going to get to play with him. Um, just playing, and I've worked out so many times in the Coliseum, and I had seen myself, in the, you know, at one point playing in the Coliseum. And so this was going to be a huge thing. So that was the thing about myself going home, playing, because being here in, in Green Bay, you're so far away from Los Angeles. But um, uh, it was quite um, it was, it was quite a feat for me. Our guest this week is Packers Hall of Fame tight end Marv Fleming, a four-time Super Bowl champion. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll have our second and third title town topics. Looking for a high-impact way for your business to stand out from the rest? Flipside Graphics specializes in vehicle wraps, vinyl graphics, and much more. Cutting edge graphics with professional results is what we stand for. Have a large fleet that needs to be flipped or shirts to be embroidered? Our design team will handle every aspect of the project from start to finish. We design it, we wrap it, we flip it. Call Flipside Graphics today and stand out from the competition. Hermity Financial Group strives to help you and your family reach your financial goals while demonstrating their core values of integrity, independence, and innovation. With offices in Wausau, Stevens Point, Manitowoc, and Wisconsin Rapids, proudly supporting the Boys and Girls Club. It's 3 p.m. For 50 million kids across America, school's out, and for a third of these kids, they're out on their own, out with nowhere to go and nothing to do. It's time to support the Boys and Girls Clubs. Great futures start here. When disaster strikes, water, fire, storm damage, and even mold, we take care of them all. Anytime, day or night, 24 hours, 7 days a week. Quality service and customer satisfaction are top priorities. Tell your insurance company you prefer North Star Cleaning and Restoration. And remember, don't just get it clean, get it North Star Clean. NorthStarCleaning.net MKS Fox Plaza Postal, your new address in the downtown Wausau area. Coming soon. Welcome back to Green and Gold Gridiron. Brian Groff, Keith Roerding, Packers Hall of Fame tight end Mar Fleming, Thank and you. Jenny Ritchie. Time for Title Town Topic 2. All right, so the Packers have had three of the best quarterbacks, you know, ever to play in the yes. NFL. 
So you played with Bart Starr. I you've did. You've seen Brett Favre and yes. you've seen Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. Is there a comparison between them? Do they have similar styles? Have you noticed anything that kind of reminds you of Bart? Well, um, yes. Um, Rodgers reminds me of Bart because Rodgers passed the ball. He doesn't throw the ball. Mm -hmm. He's a great passer. He, he seems to know what he's doing as far as a passer. Now, I'm not a quarterback. I can tell you anything about a tight end, okay? <laughs> but from being on the receiving end of a ball, when the ball is... When, the, when you can throw the ball uh, 30 yards or 60 yards and it, it lands in your hand and it doesn't uh, kill you, you know? <laughs> I mean, um, uh, that, that was my, my, the greatest thing about Bard was that he could pass the ball. And, the, and another thing is, um, every time we had a play, we had a, a first receiver, second receiver, and a third receiver. And you have to, if you were the third receiver, you, you know they called it to the other person, and you, but you better be ready to catch that ball. Because Bart was, he read, he read it, boom, 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 and he throws it to the third receiver. And ho hopefully you're been thinking he's going to throw it over there. And we'd love to see those three quarterbacks together on Thanksgiving. Oh, that's going to be good. I mean, these guys were just, uh, um, they were leaders. Um, I mean, to me, Bart was an uh, ultimate leader. Because he, I don't remember ever him um, getting confused, you know. He's gone over the sideline, you know. Um, we loved him. I, I, I'd like to see how many times he was, he was tackled. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd like to see if there's a stat on how many times Bart was actually, because we, it was taboo for anybody to touch our quarterback. Yeah. And today's throwing passes, I mean, they throw passes, how many? 60 passes in the game? And, yeah. and, and in one in our Super Bowl, what do we do? Thirteen. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No but the, the thing about it is, um, uh, if you have a balanced attack, they don't know if you're running or or, um, or, or going to pass. And so uh, it was um, it was great. I, I caught my three or four. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy, but I made more blocks where they where guys who ran past me, you know. Um, Shula says, um, Shula says, Marvin, um, no, no, we're at, he's on the, on the chalkboard. We're going to go goal line and, and short yardage. I says, coach, coach. He says, yeah, Marv. I says, why do we uh, go to the strong side and go on goal line and short yardage? He turns around and he says, because we've got you, Marv. <laughs> I said, yeah, but coach, they're, they're reading our tendencies. He says, so what? I said, can't we, like, fake it? <laughs> he says, we don't fake anything around here. <laughs> and so uh, the run game uh, helps the passing game big time. Mm -hmm. awesome. You know, it's a, it's a great conversation to have that when you're, you're talking about Bart Starr and Brett Favre and Aaron Rodgers, you could make a case that those are three of the, the top ten quarterbacks to ever play in the history of the NFL. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, Bart was such a, such a great field general and a, and a great leader. You had Favre that was just this this tough guy and this master of improvisation with his mm -hmm. cannon arm. Right. And then you've got Aaron Rodgers, who is just this surgeon that's out there and he's drawing people off sides and he's he's mm -hmm. getting free plays with 12 guys in the field and he just sees the field so well and releases so quick. And it's, you know, they all have similarities, but what other team can even have this conversation? It's, I know. it's amazing. I think Roger has both Star and, um, and Favre together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and makes a, a very, very good quarterback. All right, so our next topic. Um, so the Packers and the Dolphins, they were the championship teams when you played, obviously. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the 49ers, which are coming up, they were the team of the 80s. Right. You know, what, what does it take to make a championship team, in your opinion? Oh, you my know, gosh, yeah. What, what's, what goes into that recipe to make that a success? You know, first of all, it starts at the top. You know, if the, co if the players believe in the coach, if the, if, if the coach, I mean, and if the coach believe in the players, you can't have any, you know, I mean, the coach has to be straight up with the players. Um, with Lombardi, we believed in him. We believed in his, his um, um, the way we won. And he, he would show us and tell us the stories about certain things. And, and do you want to be this team or that team? And, you know, it, it, was, it was unbelievable to play for such a man. And even today, I think about, uh, he says, today we're facing a, um, we're, we're facing a hurdle that we're, some of us are gonna be facing 10 years from now. 
And, I, and it, it all comes back to me. And how you prepare now and how you face it now is how you're going to do it in the future. And so um, I loved playing for Lombardi and, and Shula, but I, I had some great leadership. And it's all about leadership. That wraps up our Title Town topics, and we've really dug into your past and the experiences that you had when you were playing. It, it seems like an amazing life, an amazing career. Did you really, really love playing the game of football? That's a good question. You know, there's people on the highway every morning going to work and hate their jobs. I didn't really love it, but it's something that um, being, um, I'm going to say this, I'm straight out of Compton. I went to Compton High School. <laughs> and, and, and having the opportunity to, 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 that I had, I took advantage of it. But I went, um, I went and got my head um, examined, an MRI. And the doctor says, wow. I says, excuse me? And he says to his, his, he says to his, his, um, his staff member, George, did you see this? And George says, yep. I said, well, what are you guys talking about? You know? He said, look, Marvin, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven black patches of dead cells on your brain. I said, but how can I? I can quote you scriptures. I tell you my passwords. I can tell you all this. I, today is Wednesday, you know? He said, Marvin, you have had concussions. So make it long story short, I started doing what is called hyperbaric oxygen. And I went three times a week, and I went uh, for an hour each time for five months. And at the end of five months, I took a cognitive test, and that went over the top. And my, um, uh, all my patches were gone. Beauty of this show is that uh, we could talk forever. Unfortunately, we don't have enough time, and we wish that we could uh, visit well, even longer on the yeah. air. But thank you so much for making thank us a you. part of your schedule. Thank Mark you for Fleming. having me. And, um, um, uh, go Pack Go. <laughs> <laughs> go get those 49ers. Uh, that is Packers Hall of Famer Marv Fleming. Thank you so much for being thank here. You for having we'll be back with our NFL thank Pickums you. after this. Thank you very much. When disaster strikes, water, fire, storm damage, and even mold. We take care of them all, anytime, day or night, 24 hours, 7 days a week. Quality service and customer satisfaction are top priorities. Tell your insurance company you prefer North Star Cleaning and Restoration. And remember, don't just get it clean, get it North Star Clean. NorthStarCleaning.net Looking for a high-impact way for your business to stand out from the rest? Flipside Graphics specializes in vehicle wraps, vinyl graphics, and much more. Cutting edge graphics with professional results is what we stand for. Have a large fleet that needs to be flipped or shirts to be embroidered? Our design team will handle every aspect of the project from start to finish. We design it, we wrap it, we flip it. Call Flipside Graphics today and stand out from the competition. MKS Fox Plaza Postal, your new address in the downtown Wausau area. Coming soon. Welcome back to our final segment of Green and Gold Gridiron. The Packers' next opponent, San Francisco. They lost to the Cardinals last week 47-7. Keith, we're calling this Keith's Keys going forward. What like should we it. look I for like out it. of the Packers? I like it. You know, Andrew Corliss is out. Aaron Rodgers loses another weapon. We don't even need to worry about that. Aaron Rodgers, is, he's on cruise control. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have to worry about Carlos Hyde. He's the third leading rusher in the NFL. Again, another quality back that this defense is going to have to shut down. I think they can based on what we saw in the second half against Chicago with Forte, what we saw with Beast Mode, and what we saw with Jamal Charles. So shut down Hyde. The other thing, you know Colin Kaepernick, he's going to run a little bit of that read option. He's going to try and uh, you know have a flashback to a few years ago. <laughs> it's not happening. You can give him his 7 to 10 carries for 50 yards, but you can't miss tackles. Stop Hyde. Stop Kaepernick, don't miss tackles. Those are Keith's keys. Turning now to our NFL pick'ems, we're gonna bring Jenny Ritchie back in. And for this, we all picked the same winners last week. So, we did. so as far as the advantage, that's the same. Keith and I at six and two. Jenny at five and three. We're gonna mix this up a little bit, but first off, we're gonna do NFC North games. Keith, you get to go first, and we have Raiders at Bears. Nothing to like about the Bears. Gotta go Raiders. I'm going Bears getting their first win this year. Wow. I hate to say it, but I'm going Bears, too. They got something to prove at this point. And they're at home, so. And who's their quarterback? Vikings at Broncos. Keith. 
Broncos. Uh, Broncos got lucky with the win over the Chiefs. <laughs> I think they're. I think it's going to happen again. Broncos. You think they got the lucky? <laughs> they're just good. I'm going. You took Broncos. I'm going Broncos. I have Broncos as well. Lions looking for that first win at Seattle. They're. It's the Not sleeping giant. <laughs> they woke up last week. <laughs> yeah. 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 Seattle is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're taking it out on people, so definitely Seahawks. Seahawks. I'll go Seattle as well. And then uh, Packers, Niners. Really? Really, do, yeah, do exactly. we even need to say Packers? Okay, so what we're going to do now, we because all we all correct. tend to take the same teams, we're doing two locks. So these two games have to come from something outside uh, of the NFC yeah, North. Thing, so I think we all understand. Pretty much the rule is you can't pick it. the same team oh. two weeks in a row. This is our first week of doing it. Keith, what are your two My locks? Lock. Two winners. Houston's at the ATL. We're going with the Falcons in that defense. Okay, and your other game? My other game, no Ben Roethlisberger, no win. So I'm taking Baltimore <laughs> on the road at Pittsburgh. All right, I'm taking Carolina over Tampa, Tampa Bay. Um, you know, out of all the three and O teams, they have the least respect right now, and I just Fair. want I just want them to get a little confidence in them. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to go Chiefs over Bengals. Um, they just have something to prove. I think at this point, the Chiefs just. They need something. Yeah. All right, I like that Bengals oh, one as well. Know. Andy Dalton is playing really well this year. Uh, they'll give Kansas City. They can't find. They found one wide receiver the other night. Finally. So, uh, yeah, it took them a while. Cincinnati in that one. And Andrew Luck's got the worst passer rating in the whole league. But oh. I'm still oh. taking the Colts. He's still a nice guy. Colts still over still Jacksonville. Still, still a nice ride. guy. And he's on television. And he does great commercials. He does. That is going to do it for our show this week. Our thanks to Packers Hall of Fame tight end Marv Fleming. For Jenny, Keith. And myself, thanks for watching. Have a great week.